What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about detailing in Revit Structure 2024. So in this lesson, we're going to quickly learn how to create a detailed view of a typical bolted angle plate. So we will be using some annotation elements here. Okay, so to start, let's go to zero to floor. So this is where we are going to create our section. So I'm going to select the section here, the so section, and then I'll just create my first point there of my section. And then I'm going to click another point here. And then I'm going to move this arrow somewhere here, just outside this slab here. Okay. And then let me just adjust it. Right. Okay. So this section that I just created is named detail zero. Okay, so views detail zero. So from the project browser, you look for uh, views, this one, detail zero. So let's rename this. Okay, so this will going to be my uh, typical bolted angle detail. Okay, and then I'll just enter. There you go. So let's open up this one. Double click. Okay, now the next is we're going to change the detail level. So as you can see, elements here are showing a single line. So I'm going to change my detail level here, this one. So I'm going to make that fine. There you go. And then after that, I'll change the scale. So how about I change that to one half inch equals one foot. Select that one. There you go. Okay. So now, let me just go back again to the floor plan. So let's click this. Adjust. Maybe I'm going to move it nearer. All right. So right click, go to view. Okay. So now I'm going to put here a an annotation element. Okay, so let's go to the section or to the annotate tab and then from the detail panel. So let's look for the component. Okay, so you click the drop down arrow here and then you can see here detail component and then you also have repeating detail components. So we are going to select detail components. So just click that one and then here on our properties. So these are the detail components to the uh, drawings that is loaded in our project. So what I'm going to use here is this L angle bolted connection section. So I'm going to use L4 by 4 by 5 by 16. Okay, or maybe I'll just use this one. Uh, L3 X3 X1 4. So let's select that. So let's see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. And then I'm going to put it like uh, somewhere here. That's it. Okay, and then I'll select here modify. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to select this and then let's change here the bolt spacing. So for the bolt spacing, instead of three inches, I'm going to type here like uh, 1.7 uh, inch, something like that. And then I'll select again, and then I'll just use the arrow on my keyboard and then just move it like that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to adjust the section here. So I do not want to show all of that element. So I'll just adjust my section boundary. All right. Okay. And then for the last part of the exercise, we are just going to put a text here. Oh, let's put a line first, a detail line. I'm going to put somewhere here. So that's my detail line and the additional detail. And then I'll be using a text. Click text. And then I'm going to change that to 3 over 32 inch aerial. Let's go to the type properties. I'm going to change the leader arrow head. So instead of arrow 30 degree. So I'm going to select here um, arrow field 20, 20 degrees. And then one segment. Okay, so I'm going to point this one here like that. Okay, and 
indention all right so i'm gonna type this is my uh, l3 by 3 by 1 fourth typical okay and then i'm gonna select this i'll just change the alignment to right and then i'll just copy that i'm gonna put another one here there you go and then double click i'm gonna change 6 dash a three two five three fourth of an inch diameter bolts typical okay and then just click outside and then I'm gonna select this adjust the boundary like that okay okay now I'm gonna remove the arrow and then I'll put another arrow but I need to put that on the leader at top right so click that and then I'm gonna put another arrow there you go okay there you go so we just created our typical bolted angle detail using our annotate tab detail components here so we have the detail and then we also add uh, text here okay so that's it thank you for watching have a nice day